let's look at how you can create a pip or a picture in picture to show your video feed and full screen slides at the same time. And we're gonna do this by using the props layer. So let's go over to show controls, which is below our preview area and select props. And here we can add a new prop in. So I'm gonna just hit the add icon and we're gonna name this prop pip. And then we can right click on this and say edit. And this will bring us to our props editor, which is very similar to the other editors in ProPresenter. So the first thing that we need to do is actually add our video input to our prop. And so we're just going to click on the large add icon here to add new objects to our prop. And we'll add a video input. Now this defaults to a square, but we need to make this a widescreen video. So we're going to do 480 by 270, which is a widescreen ratio. And then I'm just going to tuck this down into the bottom left hand corner. Now our prop is basically built. We could switch which video input it is here, but I only have my one source coming from my video switcher. And so we can set our settings there. But now that this is ready to go, let's go see how this looks. So I'm going to click on some teaching content here, and then I can select my pip to show it. And you'll see how it shows up. And we have our video input coming in with our slides. And I can switch between slides and our video input input will stay live. Our picture in picture will stay live until I select this again, and that will remove our pip. Now this uses the default transition for the props layer, which is right down here. So if you want to change what the transition is or how long it takes, you can select that there. Now, one thing that you'll see is when we show our pip, it's not only showing on our live stream screen, but it's also showing currently on our main output. And that's because the props layer is defaulted to be enabled on all screens, but we can remove the props layer from our main output. So we're going to go to screens and to edit looks, and we can see here our main output and our live stream screen. And I'm just going to turn the props layer off on our main output, and you'll see how the prop went away on that screen screen, but it's still enabled for our live stream screen. So I'm going to just save this and then we can go back and we can see that on our live stream screen, we still have our prop active. Turning the props layer off on our main screen not only removes that prop from showing on that screen where we don't want to see it, but it also avoids video feedback from happening. Now, video feedback or video looping is caused by showing a video source inside of itself, which in our case would look like showing a prop inside of a prop inside of a prop that goes on forever. So now that we have that figured out, let's make our picture in picture look even better. So let's make one more picture in picture. So we're going to hit add in props and we're going to name this one side by side. And then we can right click again and say edit to bring us to the props editor. This time, instead of adding a video input, I'm going to add a shape and I'm going to choose a rounded rectangle and we'll put it at that same ratio we did before, which was 480 by 270. Um, but this time I want it a little bit bigger, but I want it to keep that ratio. So I'm going to lock the ratio here and then I'm just going to type in 900. And that will give me a 16 by 9 sized shape with a 900 width. And then I'm going to just take the roundedness of this and set it down to about 20. And then we can copy and paste this. And so I'm just going to move one over to this side and the other here. We could mess around with our uh, spacing of things. And then for the left one, let's make that our video input. So I'm going to change the fill of this from a color down to our video input. And here we can select video input one, which is exactly what we want. And then for this one, instead of a color, we're going to do a screen preview. And I want to preview my main output. And so now on the left, we have our video input and on our right, we have our main output. The final thing that I want to do is kind of hide all the layers that are below when this prop is active by adding a background shape. So I'm just going to add a rectangle shape. I'm going to make this the size of my whole slide. And then we're going to change this to be a uh, the fill from a color to a gradient. And I'm just going to do kind of a dark gray gradient from really dark gray to black. And then I'm going to move that in my layer stack order behind all of the other objects. So now we have this uh, dark gray background and we have our uh, video input and our main output. So now when we go to show, this is what it normally looks like. And then when I click on side by side, we get our video on the left and we get our full screen 
green slides on the right and as I click through them they show and if I want to get rid of this and you know go back to the slides all I have to do is select that and it will remove it. Picture in Picture is a great way to show your full screen graphics and video feeds at the same time. One other option is to automatically create lower thirds using alternate themes and looks. And you can find a tutorial on how to do that on our YouTube channel or at renewedvision.com.